let the cats out, man, man, mountain Ling. Who let the cats out? The one, the only, the man, mountain Ling. He's back at country wall, especially right now. Track out of country wall. She went off the road. I'm just back up over top of the college overpass. Mm -hmm. I'm coming down the surface road. It's just jumping back on. I'm trying to get down all the way to right here. This is in pursuit with a blue Nissan Altima 55. Please wait on, I'm out of it. Well, we're here at Jesus Cares Thrift Store. I really don't need anything to sell, but I hate to come to town and not stop by the thrift store. At least check and see, if they, see what they got. A couple of weeks ago... I bought uh, 130 pair of shoes from a different thrift store that was having a dollar clearance day. And uh, a couple of days after that, I went up to the local Walmart and they were selling uh, like women's boat shoes for a dollar and women's tennis shoes for three dollars. And I bought two uh, carts full up there, so... And I still got stuff left over from the last Gov Deals purchase at University of Tennessee at Martin. So I really am quite backed up on uh, on the stuff to, uh, to sell on eBay. But the days you don't come are the days they may put out that uh, $100 dog collar for a dollar. And I have bought them up here. So got to go in and at least take a look around. So that's what we're going to do. Wish me luck. See what we got in the way of hats. They've raised the price up on some of these are just crazy, like five dollars for a you know mossy oak. Most of them fifty cents. So let's pick through them, see if we can't find a few good ones. But why would you even put that up for sale? It's broke. But uh, let's see what we got. We got us a. Uh, hunting hat Tennessee healthy hardwoods got two of these uh, sport mix hats assuming they're dog food of some sort they look like new got old mass tire hat and a McCoy's hat oh and there's a Jimmy Johnson Lowe's hat down in here too all those 50 cents a piece They've raised the prices up on the shoes, too. They got them. It used to be $2 a piece, period. Now that I've seen them as high as 20 On shoes, they wouldn't sell for 20 on eBay. So, like I said, I got plenty of shoes, but that's what I make most of my money on. So we'll pick through all this crap and see if we can't find some that's worth Worth what they're asking for it. Be right back at you. Got a pair of Dockers and uh, two pair of Nikes. Look pretty good. Got a pair of Ariats here. A pair of women's Nikes and a pair of women's Feli. Although those aren't uh, a high dollar shoe. We'll keep looking see if there's anything else catches our eye. You gotta watch, sometimes they don't have insoles like that one. 
Got another pair of Adidas, kind of dirty, but $2. See, there's a $20 pair of shoes. There's a $15 pair of wingtips. $10 pair of penny loafers. $10 pair of uh, New Balance right there. $10 pair of nun bushes. The prices are just uh, random. There's still a chance of finding something. There's some case wish. I haven't seen those since high school. That's some ASICs. I've had good luck with ASICs. Gotta look, see how worn they are. I can I got new laces. I guess we'll get those. That's going that's gonna do it. That's enough shoes. That's uh Go back here in the electronics, see if they got any little clock radios or anything. Had a little shortwave radio up here last time with a bad battery compartment. I was going to buy it if it's still here. Of course, I sold it. It's a cheap tool kits, air compressor, jumper cables, emergency light. $25. I usually got some uh, remote controls up here, but I don't see any this time. Usually look for some pillowcases like Paw Patrol or any kind of cartoons, vintage peanuts, you don't see anything like that. Not big on helmets. And their baseball bats have got quite high. I see one there with a $10 price tag on it. Hard to make money at that when you're buying them for that. I don't see any gloves. Their gloves are usually a decent price, but I don't see any. I don't need any more Afghans, but if I find them, I usually buy them. Well, I'm going to go over here and, we're, we'll go over here and look for some yarn from a dear old sainted mother. I don't know what we got here. This should be Caterpillar. Yeah, they want two dollars a piece for them. I already got one for sale and haven't sold it. I hate to, I hate to buy two more. And again, hate not to buy them. Maybe I'll buy one. I'll buy one. Like I said, I've had one for sale for a year and haven't sold it, so probably waste money. See here. See bags of yarn. Nope, I don't see any bags of yarn. Let's see if you see any books. There's a. What's not here, so. Audio cassette tapes if they want two dollars for it, and that's probably what I'd get for it if I had them for sale. See any books on the buttons? I don't see any books on the buttons. Old toys go to die. Uh, that's enough of. That's enough of this. Spend a few more minutes looking around and we'll uh, 
go check out. We ended up with uh, several decent pair of shoes, a couple of fair pair of shoes, and some hats. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Magazines are a dime. That looks kind of magazine-ish. I bet you that's worth more than a dime. You get that. I'm going to look around, make sure we didn't miss anything else. How to play the banjo. And, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, Right. Look around here a few more minutes and then uh, we'll catch you on the flip. Everything all together with taxes was uh, $23. Actually, $22.60. Got a whole box full of shoes. Got those banjo magazines and the one on the Massey Ferguson. And uh, seven baseball caps. Let's get her loaded up here. There's another thrift store the same name at the little town up the street called Adamsville. We'll go ahead and take a ride up there and see what they got. It's been about a week since I've been up there. They may have a little something, something. They may not. We're not in no big hurry, are we? All right, see you when we get up there. Should be just over this hill unless they moved it. This is a unusual little building. They got, uh, it's basically built into a hillside. There's a upper story right here. And then if you go on around, there is a lower story and a few little parking spots are taken off so let's circle around and get in line here but uh, yeah this lower portion is mostly metal and uh, cell phone signal don't don't extend this far so you're not going to be able to uh, look your items up usually like to look stuff up but uh, sometimes you don't get that choice so we're gonna go down here to the bottom part first and uh, look around this is where I usually find all the sporting equipment I sold some uh, catcher's mitts and some uh, cleats and you also get your small household electronics down here your popcorn machines, your blenders, your clock radios. And uh, the woman that runs this section down here is uh, extremely nice, which uh, can't be said for the woman that runs the upper section. She's been known to raise the prices on you just because she thinks you're not paying enough, which is a horrible reason to raise the price if you ask me. But uh, regardless, let's uh, get on down in here and see what they got. Well, looks like somebody's leaving, so I'm going to go up there and steal their spot. Closer to the door is always better when you're toting stuff. Well, you can't ask much closer than that now, can you? Let's see what they got.
luggage. Old golf clubs. Bathroom grip bars. Fit. Excuse me, finials. There's some knobs. Mirror covers. A vacuum cleaner. That one says five, this one says ten. There's some baseball gloves. They have moved them. Oh, these are the cheap, cheap gloves and some of the, like that one there. Missing the uh, stitching that holds the fingers together. Well, they have rearranged this entire corner. I do not see cleats. Oh, oh there. Then a snake had bit me on the putt. There's a good, fairly good pair. $10 on bicycle seats. Mickey Mouse Waffle Maker. There's old coffee pot. Four dollars. shoes anyway. Glassware, but appears to be in good shape. I don't feel no cracks. So we'll put a dollar on it, see what it brings us. There's something making noise over here. This is a guitar. No, I guess it's a, guess it's a little horse down there. Blank VHS tapes, two dollars. We'll take those. Uh, 
aquarium. Got a furniture. Got a fireplace. Don't that look cozy? dollar chair there three dollars for that whatever that is guess we could pass that around at the church put your money in there Grab boxes. Let's grab one of those real quick. Grab just a two dollar one. What is this? Five dollars, three bowls. Made in China. And engraved with an A. That kind of limits. How many people are going to want them, don't it? The fridge there, refrigerator. Now the last surprise box I bought was full of these. It's basically blank cards. There must have been 10 pounds of those in there, if not more, half the box with that. Had a pretty decent coach purse sitting on top, so. This one's $2. We'll give it a chance, see what it's worth. Take a look real quick, see if we can find any yarn. That don't count, it's not quite yarn. Oh, what is this? Shell lights for indoor outdoor use. They look like they got a little bit of age on them, don't they? Let's buy those for the hell of it. Fabric, fabric. Fish rocks, aquariums. I don't see no yarn though. Hey, hey. hey, how are you? Alright, let's uh, check out this bottom part and right up to the top. I saw this and I had to share. It's the, the eBay game. Never seen a eBay game before, but uh, there the one sits. Got uh, records over here, and then books that no one ever buys back here. Been here for years. Five dollars for a case. Let's check out. All their ink is expired and overpriced. Well, I spent eleven dollars down there. I don't know why they didn't tape these boxes shut, but uh, I just glanced in there and I see I see three baseball gloves. So it may be worth something. The rest of it looks like garbage, but we we'll save that to when we get home. Go through it there. Well, we'll come upstairs and we got a spot right by the door. They got the sales posted on the door. Men's PJs for a dollar. 
winter coats half price all winter half off women's boots half price and does not include the rubber boots and down on the bottom it says there's a sale on the baby's room they got an entire room full of nothing but baby stuff in there it's uh all pretty ragged to be honest with you well let's go in there and see what they got I don't imagine I'll find much of anything. Like I said, I was just up here last week, but uh, you never can tell. You can just find the shoelaces. I bought two pair of shoes out here last week and I ended up throwing both of them away. We'll take those. They finally got right on the caps, and as soon as I did, everybody bought them up. Or a quarter of grab. Another M. A bear. That one says Pokemon. It has a C in the front. It says Pokemon. I guess so. Push that back. Pick up the one we dropped. Shoes are three dollars less marked otherwise. Mark five. It is too dirty to pay five for. More shoes all hidden up under here. All look pretty worn. Mostly stuff I passed up. Check on these five dollars, five dollars. Here's a pair of Levi's, ten dollars. They look pretty good, but I just don't think I can make enough money off of them.
Oh, it's looking a pair of boots. I want ten bucks, so half price would be five. That'll wipe off there. Guess we'll get five for those. Money goes to the church. Then we got this room back here, it's mostly dishes. There's some Easter stuff. A bunch of brick back. His old time pair of sunglasses. Quilts. Comforters. Sheets, curtains. Whole thing full of nail polish. Wig. Chickens. St. Patrick's Day. Candles. Not seeing a whole lot here. I'm going to take another quick look around and uh, go check out, and we'll be back with you. I found three more pair of shoes. We got a real pair of Converse, Universal Thread, and a little kid's pair of Skechers. Go. Go check out now. Wow. Those six bags of stuff cost me $26. Those boots were a dollar. I bought a five dollar bag of toys. Just loose figures. And all those shoes and stuff you saw. So we're going to run down to Walmart and do our shopping. And head back to the house and go through that uh, surprise box. Here at Walmart, and uh, it's fairly busy for a Wednesday, but uh, right as we was pulling up, somebody was leaving, so we ended up getting uh, right up close to the door again. Making a YouTube video must be bringing me a little bit of luck today, I guess. Well, here's our grab box. It's a little windy, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Go through this real quick. There's those baseball gloves. We got a name on it. Randy Hillard. What are you doing? I'm going to the grab box. Okay. It's a winner's choice, which is the cheapest brand of glove they make. Uh, this one is a professional. Made in Taiwan. It doesn't even feel like leather, but I guess it is. This one's a Wilson. Richie Fisk, I'm guessing. A2270. Joey Barton's old glove. 
You got Turtle here. Hey, Turtle. How you doing, bud? Let's see. We got a little duffel bag tote. We got a brand new pack of Sky Bulls, extra small. Looks like uh, elbow pads, possibly knee knee pads. Brand new. Yes, meow. When I saw that he cleaned up the sports room, I was kind of hoping some of that stuff ended up over here in this box. We've got a shoe rack and an aqua splash. Don't need that. Oh, got some more knee pads, elbow pads. Whatever the hell that is. It's okay, boy. Looks like we got some clothes. Y'all yeah, know me. Y'all know I'm not much on clothes. It's a medium youth. Baseball. That would be the Memphis Redbirds, I believe. We got the uh, Junior Grizzlies. That's a team out of Memphis. Number 10. Yes, meow. Indeed, meow. Got uh, some kind of pads. Some more pads. This one's Spider-Man. Looks like this is one of those. Got some baseball britches. With stains. Yes, we do. Another Adamsville football 2022 t shirt with all kids' names on it. Yeah, I'm not impressed either. Got some Eastern baseball britches, little video things. Got one of those. Not sure exactly what that is. Got a looks like a wetsuit or some kind of diving suit. It says Rip Curl Dawn Patrol. Maybe it's just the top. It's a size small. Have to look that up. It might have some value. Yes, meow. Yes, yes, I hear you. Dragons baseball. Cardinals baseball. Freeman number five on the back. Yeah, photo bombing my surprise box turtle. This one says Tigers, Freeman. There's a button-up jersey. Number five again for the Cardinals and Adidas. Youth Large. Got some more. One more at least. Got the uh, Adamsville Junior Pro Basketball. Number five. Imagine that. <coughs> My cousin's wife coming in. I see here. Got some hooks for some breathable shelving. We got some water wings. We got uh, windshield visor graphics that says move. We got a tore the hell up bungee cord. We got a 
itty bitty hacksaw. Got some grommets. Got some uh, fishing grubs. A piece of Brillo. Oh, we got more of these windshield graphics. Got quite a few of those. Looks like four of those. Five count the one I already taken out. Professional DIY leather and vinyl repair kit for brown stuff. Maybe it's all in there. Got, uh, looks like some striping tape and maybe some tape that goes around baseball bats. Use that, we'll get some more baseball bats. We got one of those disposable ponchos. We got a camouflage golf coat, golf club head. Skid guards prevent slips and falls. Two boxes of Rust Defender Gray quarter inch anti-turn ever built. So I'm assuming those are screws of some sort. No, they're not quite screws. They're those things. I guess you drive that into a piece of wood and your carriage bolt goes down through the center here and then locks in. You put a washing and nut on the other side. Those might have a little bit of value. Got two boxes of them. Somebody might want them. Tinko, I have no idea what that is. It looks like a, like a stand for a vacuum cleaner. That looks like a. I'm wondering how that looks like. Uh, it looks like a brush off a vacuum cleaner. That looks like a mop head, don't it? Looks just like a mop head. That'll do it. That's what was in the box. I appreciate you joining me and Turtle. Turtle, say bye. And uh, we're going to get this crap back in the box. We still have a whole truckload of stuff to unload from the grocery store and the thrift stores. So I appreciate you coming along on this episode of Thrifting with Jim, and we'll catch you next time. Do you think that concrete wall is actually wrecked out? Right out of that concrete wall. She went off the road. I'm just back up over top of the college overpass. <laughs> I'm coming down the surface road, it's just jumping back on and try to get down a little bit here. This is in pursuit with a blue Nissan Altima 55. Let the cats out, man, man, mountain link. Who let the cats out? The one, the only, the man, mountain link.